Are you ready for a wild rundown of the absolute mayhem that went down at the Catalunya MotoGP races last weekend? We've got terrifying high sides, massive pileups, dash title hopes, and raging rivalries. This is a weekend we'll be talking about all season long. So grab your helmets and get ready to dive into some of the craziest racing action we've seen in a long time. Welcome back to MotoGP Insider. The MotoGP Circus made its yearly stop in Catalonia this weekend, and it's certainly lived up to the hype. Saturday's qualifying saw home crowd favorite Alex Espargaro put his Aprilia on pole position ahead of Francesco Bagnaia and teammate Maverick Vinales. The scene seemed set for a competitive Spanish showdown on Sunday, but that storyline quickly went out the window when chaos broke out at the start of the main race. The first major incident happened on the opening lap at Turn 1. Enea Bastianini, running an alternate strategy from the back of the grid, made an overly ambitious pass attempt that took out over half the field. Bastianini started the race down in 15th position, but came storming through the pack on the opening lap, trying to gain positions quickly. As the field bunched up heading into Turn 1, Bastianini showed no patience and dove to the inside of Johan Zarco's Pramac Ducati. It was an ill-advised move, as Bastianini clipped the rear of Zarco's bike while breaking deep into the corner. The contact sent Zarco wide and offline, starting a huge domino effect pile up through the turn. Alex Marquez had nowhere to go as Zarco slid off the track, and he collided heavily with the Pramac bike. Marquez was sent flying into the air, while Zarco was beached in the gravel. That was only the beginning, as Fabio Di Gianantonio and Marco Bezzecchi rode in hard to the turn, only to find Marquez's downed Honda directly in their path. Both riders hit the stricken bike and were thrown violently from their machines, skidding across the runoff area. Finally, the helpless Takaki Nakagami had no way to avoid the unfolding melee ahead of him. He plowed straight into the carnage, getting ejected from his LCR Honda in a cloud of dirt and debris. In total, five riders were taken down by Bastianini's overzealous move, including three Ducatis. It brought out the red flag immediately and ended the race for multiple contenders just seconds after it began. The crash was scary and enraged many riders, but it would quickly be overshadowed by Bagnaia's high side that happened moments later. Still, it was a massive moment and controversy that defined the whole Catalonia race weekend. Bagnaia slid helplessly across the track as the pack roared towards him. In a stroke of awful luck, he was directly in the line of Brad Binder's KTM binder had nowhere to go and ran directly over Bagnaia's legs. It was a horrific scene. Bagnaia lay motionless on the tarmac before being carried off on a stretcher. He was conscious and escaped without any broken bones. But the images of him getting ragdolled by Binder's bike are hard to forget. It was a very close call that could have been so much worse. After a 30-minute delay for cleanup and repairs, the race restarted with a 19-lap sprint. Pole sitter Espargaro grabbed the whole shot and never looked back. He dominated the race and took the checkers over four seconds clear of Aprilia teammate Vinales. It was Aprilia's first ever 1TP2 finish in MotoGP and a very emotional day for Espargaro to win at his home race. He dedicated the victory to the late Aprilia executive Roberto Colonino, and the home Spanish crowd was absolutely ecstatic to see one of their own dominate in Catalonia. But the aftermath of the dramatic crashes still loomed large after the race. Bastianini confirmed he suffered ankle and hand fractures that require surgery and will likely keep him out for several weeks. Meanwhile, Bagnaia was diagnosed with severe bruising but no broken bones. Whether he attempts to return next weekend at the Italian GP remains to be seen. The two crashes also stirred up controversy over riding styles and risks taken by certain riders. Bastianini in particular came under fire for his aggressive move that triggered the first big pileup. Multiple racers spoke out against his riding and called the pass unacceptable. The rookie clearly needs to learn to pick his spots better on the opening lap. A long lap penalty was assessed, but it's doubtful that will curb his aggression moving forward. The debates over fault and blame game will continue on in the weeks ahead. But for now, the focus shifts to recovery and regrouping before MotoGP returns to Italy next Sunday. Bagnaia still holds a sizable championship lead even after the DNF, but his advantage has closed up and his status for Misano is unclear. Meanwhile, Aprilia and Alex Espargaro are carrying major momentum after the breakthrough win on home soil. The 2022 title fight is far from over and more twists and turns likely await, but this chaotic weekend in Catalonia 
gave us a little taste of everything that makes MotoGP so thrilling. Triumph for some, heartbreak for others, and never a dull moment. Well, there you have it, folks. Catalonia was utter chaos this year. This is definitely a weekend that will go down in MotoGP history. I want to hear from you. What did you think of all the action? Was anyone in the wrong or just hard racing? And where does the championship go from here? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll keep the conversation going. If you like this kind of MotoGP analysis and commentary, be sure to subscribe for more race breakdowns all season long. Until next time, ride safe out there.